Hi, I'm Malachi Greb, owner, CEO, engineer of Elite Automation. Today I wanted to bring you another video on how to get a job within the industry or if you already have a job in the industry. I kind of want to target like college students because I feel like they're definitely not thinking uh, on this level. So uh, this is for you guys. Now I've made some videos in the past that uh, are relevant to getting a job in the industry or getting started in the industry. And this kind of ties along with that into a little video series. We may create a playlist for like job type of uh, videos and whatnot. So when somebody's going through school, obviously they're going to school and they're anticipating whenever they graduate college that they're gonna go into the field and get a job. Um, and whenever you go into the process of getting a job, essentially what majority of people are doing is they're creating a resume, they're spending this time building up this resume, and then they're sending this resume off to whatever manufacturing company they're trying to work for or systems integrator, filling out their application and then just kind of crossing their fingers and hoping they get a job. And I want to clarify this, I'm really targeting this towards people who are going to graduate with like an engineering type of degree or a robotics and technologies type of degree. Jobs that are really specific to the industrial market. Really things that are applicable to like the industrial manufacturing, food processing type of market. But this video will be very applicable to like anybody really. But I just kind of will be talking a lot about our industry and what's going on in our industry and, and just be industry specific in a sense. So if you're sending out your resume and you're just crossing your fingers, you're kind of doing things all wrong. Given like it's worked for people and tons of people do it, but I can guarantee you there's a 110% better approach. And the thing that I want to present to you is to market yourself and specifically market yourself through LinkedIn. Uh, so you need to create yourself a LinkedIn account. You need to start posting on that LinkedIn account and overall just creating some exposure. So if you don't know what LinkedIn is already, it's basically what I will call a social media platform. Some people will push back against me and say, oh, it's not a social media platform, but it is. It's a place for a business type of individual career professionals to, to network. Uh, but in a sense, it's just a professional social media platform is all it is. A few things that really bring a lot of value to the LinkedIn is that one, it's made up of professional individuals. It's made up of you know other engineers or, or other people in your job field, the people that will hire you, different teachers, like just about anything you can think of. There's going to be a slew of those people on LinkedIn, and there's probably people in your area in LinkedIn. So different manufacturing facilities around you will be on LinkedIn. And then another key factor that uh, LinkedIn has is you have the ability to search people by job title and by company all kinds of different metrics As a matter of fact Let's go ahead and jump into LinkedIn real quick And I'm just kind of want to show you guys a little bit of how LinkedIn looks and, and how you're able to search people overall LinkedIn is super powerful This is just I'm gonna go into the standard side of LinkedIn and I would even advise you may want to get sales navigator which is a function that which is an, a paid extension of LinkedIn and we'll get into that here in a second where where it could be very beneficial and where it could definitely be worth the money invested towards it So let's just go into search. I just clicked enter right there So now it brought us to search we're gonna click people in here It's gonna give us the ability to have some different search criteria. So up here at the top you have some different search criteria connections locations current company uh, and then we can go into all filters and we'll go into that here in a second but let me I'm just to show off kind of the first things that we have here so obviously we have people we have jobs posts you can search different things by category of, of what you're looking for me personally I would target people you know because people is really what you want you just need to find the right people and find out who those people are what their job titles are and whatnot uh, then connections so connections basically is like friends so if, if it's a first degree connection, basically you're saying you are already friends with that individual. Uh, if it's a second degree connection, that's a friend of a friend. And then a third degree connection is a friend of a friend of a friend. We've probably grown our network out enough to almost everybody on LinkedIn is probably a third degree con connection. Then you have like location, that's obvious. You know, you can search by the United States, Indiana, United States. You can search your city, greater Evansville area. This location thing is actually one of the benefits of sales navigator so keep that in mind obviously current company so let's bust into all all filters so the same connections things right here uh connections of so you can you know if there's a particular person and you want to add everybody this connection of that particular person which can be very good so like this is where things become very very powerful Let, let's say for instance you're your professor at your school or you know one guy that works at toyota right you can put in that guy's name that works at toyota 
and then see all of his connections or her connections so you could add in his or her connections and then that's potentially going to open up access to a ton of other Toyota employees so then you can go through there and just start adding Toyota employees and sometimes it doesn't even really matter it could, if it's somebody who's high up in in the company it could be somebody who's just a line worker but being that you added that connection that gives you the ability to maybe that person is connected with somebody that's higher up so it just starts expanding your capabilities of who you're able to connect with and if you don't have the paid version that's one thing linkedin will limit you on is like i don't think you can see a third degree connection unless you have the paid version of linkedin i think they only allow you to have first and second degree connections and they also limit how many people you can add so i would almost literally add as many people as you potentially could uh, current company, past company, school, industry, industrial automation, cool. They are updating this all the time. Like, I don't even think industrial automation was a thing on here, like, last year. Their language, if they're open to work or not, things like that. Okay, so, and you can also search by these, like, kind of just keywords and whatnot. And then there's also a Boolean search that you can do up here as well that will actually open up a little bit more capabilities on the free version that doesn't necessarily give you access, but it's kind of hidden. You can't... you. The only way you can do that is knowing the cert certain, which is called Boolean search. So if you know how to do that, then you can access a little bit more through the non-paid version. So we're about to go ahead and jump into Sales Navigator. But before I jump into Sales Navigator, I just want to really press like how important this marketing is. So, you know, the context of this video is not necessarily to demonstrate LinkedIn. LinkedIn just happens to be the best tool to get your name out there and to let people know who you are. So let's go ahead and go to Sales Navigator. I'm going to brush through this real quick because like I said, this is not a LinkedIn video. If you want to know like how to use LinkedIn and how to powerfully use LinkedIn, maybe put it in the comments below. Ask, maybe that's some, a video we can make. But this is, this is mainly to get your name out there, market yourself, to become known in the industry so that way it's not as difficult for you to, to get a job. Just click enter. Okay, so now it brings us to all of our different filters right here. So you have customer list, past leads and accounts, geography, relationship, company, industry, company headcount, seniority level, blah, blah, blah. You can read all these, okay? So honestly, this the primary reason why I probably use LinkedIn Sales Navigator is because of geography. And so if you notice back a second ago, let's say for instance, we wanna type in location. It says greater Evansville area. This is going to be specific to like greater Evansville area. So see how Evansville, Indiana is right here. Those are technically probably going to show up two different search results, even though they're both Evansville, Indiana, essentially. You know, there are people within the general vicinity because Evansville is not even that big anyway, which you, you wouldn't care about the specifics of really trying to narrow down that far. And so what Sales Navigator has is you're able to search things by postal code. So for example, Evansville, Indiana is 47711, Evansville, Indiana. And then you can select the radius of how far out you want to search. So maybe like a 25 mile radius, 35, whatever radius you want to search. But that opens up. Now you're searching Evansville, Indiana and the greater Evansville area. And then if somebody else has some weird other name for the city, like some of these bigger cities, they have like basically cities inside of cities. And like if you don't put that specific name in, you're going to miss out on that, on that potential lead or that potential connection or whatever. So now that I kind of just showed off some of the tools of LinkedIn, the whole purpose of this is you want to connect with these different individuals so that way you want to go ahead and start adding these different connections of people in the industry and then start making posts on LinkedIn. Even if it's like you're at school and you're taking a picture of the PLC or, or you're at school and, and they have something on the projector screen and you can take a picture of it, post it on LinkedIn. Hey, this is what we're learning today. Da, 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 da. Hey, had some good experience doing PLC programming. Oh, we had to play with the robot today post a picture of it, post a video, da, da, da. like all these different things are uh, are things that you may already be doing on other social media platforms, but if you're not doing it on the right platform, if you're not connected with the right people, it won't matter. It's not going to help you in the ability to be able to get a job. And you can literally do nothing but connect with these different individuals, the people that you think are going to be decision makers in, in the hiring role, or just engineers who maybe work underneath the guy that hires those people. And they say, hey, you know what? I see this college kid is about to graduate next year. Uh, or here in six months, three months, one month, whatever. And they may they may tell that hiring manager, hey, check them out. Hey, maybe reach out to them. You could have you could have employers reaching out to you. If you like are posting and you seem like a sharp individual and you're posting logic and stuff that you've that you've programmed or engineering job tasks that you've done and they're like, wow, this guy seems to like be a fairly applicable person. They seem like they could be able to perform the job that we need like right now. And so they might grab you up, grab you up and reach out to you uh, without you even trying to reach out to them, without you even sending your resume in or, or putting in an application. Now, given they're probably going to want one, especially these bigger companies, just because that's part of their process. 
and, and then this opens up the next opportunity of these companies that are not bigger companies and these companies that don't care they may hire you without a, a, a resume or an application they're like dude i see i see what you got here i'll literally look at your linkedin not look at your resume and and hire you like i personally care about what can you do i don't care i, I care a little bit about what you've done because it just it can show what you have done in the past and kind of show some credibility but you know what like it, it really doesn't matter you could say you worked at toyota but you could have been cleaning the toilet bowls. Nobody really knows unless I'm starting to starting to call like different people at Toyota and try to find out like, hey, you know, what did this person actually do? What were some of the job titles? You know, so if I do some like follow up and stuff like that, people can find out. But I, I for me personally, and I think for a lot of other companies out there in the world, pretty much every company out there in the world, they care more about what can you do. They don't care about uh, near as much about like where have you worked or or your particular degree. Uh, I mean, some you know, some companies. Don't get me wrong. There's still companies out there that are very stickler on this, and I think that this will change because of market demand. There's going to be a need for a lot of engineering individuals, robotics, PLC programmers, electrical engineers that are very specific to the uh, industrial, you know, food processing, that whole side of uh, you know, manufacturing and whatnot, that whole side of the industry and whatnot. And when that demand really, really hits, like really hits. These people are not going to have a choice but to say, I don't care if you have an engineering degree or not. There's some companies that already don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you have an engineering degree. I don't care if you have any degree. If you can show me that you can perform and you can write some PLC logic, robot logic, things like that, cool, great. If you have a degree, great. Uh, but I honestly would rather have somebody with no degree and who can deliver some products, deliver code or, or electrical engineering prints or something like that versus somebody with a degree that can't deliver me anything. Uh, I mean, to me, that just makes sense. And that's what, that's what makes a business run. And as demand grows in the industry, some of these bigger companies that are being very strict about that type of stuff will have no option but to pull back because they literally will not be able to hire enough individuals. There'll be so many people consumed by the market because automation and whatnot is becoming such a big thing. And therefore, they're going to have to convert from hiring an engineer to hiring a, a robotics technician or, or whatever that technical degree is. I really can't drill this in enough. You need to be adding these individuals on LinkedIn. You need to be posting as frequently as possible. I mean, like once a day, absolute bare minimum once a week. But I mean, I'm once a day. Like we have initiatives where we're trying to get out like 100 pieces of content uh, a day through all of our social media platforms, not necessarily just on LinkedIn, but through all our different social media platforms. And we're doing that because of awareness. We want to be aware. You want to be aware whenever you're trying to, to go for a job. And whenever it comes to you, you actually going in for a job interview, uh, if it is more of a traditional process of you submitted your resume, you did this, you even tagged your uh, LinkedIn account on your resume, they're probably going to go to your LinkedIn account. They're going to look and say, okay, boom, oh, this person's been posting for a, two years. Wow, like this person has a lot of content. Oh, wow, this is this person's talking about a lot of stuff. And another thing that is a dynamic that really isn't being talked about a lot in industry is every employee needs to start becoming a marketer of the, the company that they're working for. So, like, if you are working for a company, you need to be posting about that company. Um, and it's just not talked about enough. It's a huge loss to companies. And I think that, to be honest, there's going to be some companies that literally go out of business who are not doing this into the future. Because marketing is becoming such a big thing and social media is becoming such a big thing, I, you know, I don't know if it's you get paid a dollar more an hour to make a LinkedIn post every day. Like literally, like to me, that's worth it. That's 110% worth it. If you look at the financials behind it for a company, that's 110% worth it. So if you are that individual who is making a LinkedIn post every day, do do do, like I'm gonna hire you just for the marketing aspect of it. Not even, not even just the the what you've done on your LinkedIn. Just the sheer fact that you've been posted on your LinkedIn for X period of time and nobody's been telling you, hey, you have to be posting. You have to be posting. Like that's a hire. Matter of fact, like what like one of our initiatives is that everybody that works for Elite Automation has to have a LinkedIn account and has to make posts on their LinkedIn account, uh, even if it's just sharing somebody else's post from uh, Elite Automation, or or it don't even have to be Elite Automation. If they're sharing some other post or some other technology, overall, I just want the spreading of the industrial industrial industry and knowledge of the industrial industry, things that are going on in the industrial industry. I want it being shared by our employees and by our company. And, and have that type of ecosystem. So I hope this is like really baking in like understanding the value of being able to be on LinkedIn and, and, and the benefit it can have to you for being able to get a job and to be able to have people actually reach out to you. And whenever you go into that interviewing process, 
that you know they have already looked at your LinkedIn account. They know what you're doing. They may have even known you from LinkedIn prior to even sending in your resume. So if you've added that person a year or two years before you even sent a resume into that company, they may have already seen your name before, know who you are. And knowing somebody is like one of the biggest hiring points. Like if you know somebody and you like them and like the things that they're producing, that's gonna be one of the main things that gets you hired. Like if they have 100 other applicants and you're the only one's name that they've ever seen on LinkedIn and ever like seen you regularly posting and this and that, you're probably gonna get that job. Like the only way you're not gonna get that job is if somebody just has some skill sets that can just really deliver over, over what you can and you know, being able to deliver is also a big, big aspect of things. Like, no, if you can know the job that you're going for and build those skill sets out, like, oh, I want to be a PLC programmer, do PLC programming all the time. Buy a little PLC, you know, invest in, in your in your career and, and make posts about that, you know. So that way, whenever it comes to, like, you're applying for that particular PLC programming job or that, you know, maybe marketing, whatever job that is, like make sure you're already practicing that skill and showing it on your on your LinkedIn profile and your other social media profiles. Uh, you know, don't abandon the other social media pl- profiles. Utilize them as well. But you know, for me, I like to keep my LinkedIn kind of segregated from my other social media platforms, just because like I want to be able to post some stuff that's a little bit more brash on like Facebook. You know, things that may not be okay over here on LinkedIn. I want to post family pictures on Facebook. But, you know, it's not necessarily uh, quite acceptable on LinkedIn. All right, guys, I hope I ran it on enough. Let me know in the comments below if you already have a LinkedIn, if you're going to start a LinkedIn now. I really, really want to see people get their LinkedIn. Put your LinkedIn comments below. I'll check you out. I'll probably add you. But, yeah, hopefully I'll see you around on LinkedIn. Hopefully I'll see you around on these videos. By the way, contact information will be at the end of this video if you're interested in, in a job with Elite Automation or or if you know anybody who would like to utilize our services. We are a systems integrator. We, we integrate robotic cells and whatnot. We have another video somewhere on our YouTube channel that will be discussing what it is that we do, the services we offer, and whatnot. So that might be in the description below. Maybe, that, maybe we'll start putting that in all of our descriptions. Catch you all in the next one. Thank you for sticking around.